Greetings, greetings, Gerard Fairley here. Today's video, we're going to talk about um, the different entry points into the auto dealer, the auto business. Now, if you want to become an auto dealer, there are two ways in. There's two ways in, basically, two legal ways. The first way, of course, is to go to DMV directly and say, hey, I want to become an auto dealer in the state of wherever you live in. And then they'll say, okay, great, fine, no problem. You need to have a building this size. You need to have a building sign this large. You have to have you have to have business insurance. You have to have you have to be bonded uh, for this dollar or figure. You have to have a car lot. You have to have a landline, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is what every state in this country will tell you that you have to have if you want to become a auto dealer, a used car dealer, which is different than being a dealer for a franchise company like say for instance Toyota or Honda a new car dealer that's altogether a different story we're talking about a used car dealer but when you have your auto dealer license you are running your dealership you're running a used car dealership high value cars whatever cars you want all right so let's not get you know thrown with the terms and the semantics so um so you're looking at this video because you're thinking about becoming an auto dealer and you're not sure which way to pivot to get in. So you can go to DMV directly and they'll tell you, yeah, give us all of these things and you pay a little $500 fee or whatever it is and they'll give you a plate and they'll allow you, they'll authorize you to uh, issue temporary tags. But that's an arduous process. That takes a lot of time, energy, uh, follow up, a lot of bureaucracy and, and layers that you have to go through to enter that route. Most people uh, enlist an aid of a broker to walk them through that process, to help them through that process of becoming a state certified DMV auto dealer license. So that, that takes a while. It could take you several months. Um, paperwork, filling out back and forth, yada, yada, yada. And then there is our program and similar programs like ours, whereas you're actually becoming a dealer under a dealer, a dealer who has already gone through that process of being certified by the state. The state says, okay, yes, dealer so-and-so is now DMV certified. Here's your dealer number and your dealer license. And so what we're doing with our program is that we put you under a dealer who's already certified by a DMV, who already has the building and the signage, et cetera, et cetera. And so thereby you're, you're meeting those requirements of having that without actually having it. Um, it's similar to how in this country, real estate broker is the sponsor of other real estate agents. Meaning if you're a real estate agent in any country, in any state in this country, if you want to transact a real estate transaction, the buy, sell a home, whatever, you have to do this under the sponsorship or auspices or the supervision of another real estate agent, which is the broker. Broker is a title that's given, you know, once you take this test by the state and you mandate uh, certain educational requirements and uh, you prove certain financial stability, they call you a real estate broker. All right. So that's the same situation that's going on with our program. You're a dealer under a dealer. You use your own name, your own LLC. Um, you're a dealer under a dealer with full dealer privileges. Main one is buying and selling of cars legally within this country. The whole idea is the federal government says if you want to buy and sell cars for profit in this country, you have to be licensed, meaning meaning supervised by an authority of or or, or or an authority agency. That's the whole idea. They want a certain level of accountability, and that's what we provide. All right, so um, you can go. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. And I talk a little fast. I'm from New York, so you know <laughs> I got that fast New York thing going. But you can go in through DMV directly. There's more time involved. There's more energy involved. Um, you can make it may cost you less, but if you're paying with a broker to help you, it could cost you more. So that's the whole idea is it's time issue. Or you can go with our kind of program or our program where. You're in, you have access to the dealer auctions within you know 10 business days, 7 to 10 business days. Uh, where you can buy your cars online, bid online, buy online. Um, and if you go for the dealer plate program, then you're able to have your own dealer plate tag as well so you can transport your cars. And that's what we provide. We provide you that direct connection to licensed certified dealers 
and we get you access into the network so you can buy from dealer only auctions and you're able to resell them all right so that's that's basically the way how to get into the the car dealer the auto dealer market um, in terms of used cars so hopefully that's answered some questions and talk to you soon